the headline for story at number seven, and we're going to go stretch past this headline because there's a lot of things wrapped into this one, is MSNBC's ratings crater as viewers tune out Trump victory coverage. We're going to throw some scene in here as well because it, it, it's re is relevant. And we'll get the Fox News in a moment. But MSNBC has experienced an significant drop in ratings as many viewers have turned away from coverage of Donald Trump uh, based off the recent stuff for his legal stuff, which is going away, and his political victory, which means he's not going away. The network, which often attracts the audience with liberal leanings, saw a marked decline in some viewers after the election. Essentially, once it was figured out he was going to win, and as it got bigger, bigger with the with the distance between him and Kamala Harris, basically people were just kind of tired of hearing the Trump stuff. And for MSNBC, it's hard to battle against uh, Trump when Trump won by so much. And as and, and as MSNBC tends to do, they're just flat out battling and, and going back and forth. There may be some things to bring out, maybe some things, some points of contention to make sure that he stays on the right path things. But when your 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 guy doesn't win, or in this case, your gal doesn't win, it's hard watching you complain about the other guy. And that's what's happening over there. Trunk fatigue is basically falling in for folks at all the networks, CNN and MSNBC, specifically because they were so anti-Trumpish, CNN trying to, you know, to call, you know, trying to not be as anti-Trump as open, but they have been. Uh, with that, we'll get the Fox News in a moment, but we have to sneak in a quick CNN story. Now, CNN is rumored to be firing more people because they're losing money. And after election, they're also losing viewers as well. People aren't paying much attention. And while they have the late night shows, which are basically 10 panelists talking over each other, it's turning into something that's not the effective. Maybe it's effective because it's less people having to do actual news gathering, news work, less producing, and just, just having people doing hot takes. But I don't know if the cost is so much for the hot takes or just the hot takes aren't catching attention because it's the arguments are gone. One of the biggest people who are leaving now is going to be Chris Wallace, who made a big jump off of Fox News heading to CNN when they had the CNN Plus that launched for about a day and a half uh, to do some side shows. He's still doing the side show, still doing the, the, the Who's Talking show, which is more or less a, a homage to Larry King. And he does the, the, the weekly show I watch religiously. Uh, the Chris Wallace show where it's like old school um, crossfire, except it's not a bunch of old white guys yelling at each other, which is kind of cool. But CNN is losing Chris Wallace as his contract is wrapping up. We had rumors of the fact that his contract was not going to be extended or nothing major, no big raise to him and many other people. So he's going to see what digital media has, what new media is going to give to him, what other smaller platform will throw at him. Not going back to Fox News, at least not saying that, but seeing if he can join up with some other sparky little uh, internet dealio and try to make some money and make some waves and do something at his age um which you know in the 70s at this point in time isn't necessarily all that old but at his you know his stature in the business his age itself is is kind of an issue and see what he can do to get on to some of the newer stuff he does a lot of work with Kara swisher so maybe she has something up her sleeve to get chris wallace onto the digital age of new stuff but so we'll see how things are playing out